Hello, eighth grade. It's Mrs. Williams. This is not at all the way that I thought I would be saying goodbye to you all. Um, and I'm sad to be seeing you go. It has been the greatest pleasure being your teacher these past two years. And I wish I could keep you another year or two. However, I, I know that uh, you must move on to high school and to Mrs. Brannon, and you are going to love her. She's going to teach you um, more than I ever could. And uh, I hope that you guys feel prepared and ready to take on this new challenge and all your future endeavors. I expect such great things out of all of you. You're a really special class. Um, very dear to my heart, my first kiddos that I ever taught at Caney Valley. And um, I've really enjoyed my time spent with you guys. All of you kiddos in Stuco this year, uh, those of you who did Quiz Bowl, um, it was great getting to know you guys um, more personally and in depth. And now I'll, I'll be missing those uh, conversations that we have in the hallway, hanging by the door. Um, you guys telling me stories, trying to get me distracted and feel free to come see me anytime and say hello. I look forward to it. It's a small school, so I know I'll be seeing you around. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful summer and are ready to go next year when I see you. I want to just leave you with this final thought. It's a quote from Mr. Rogers, and you know that I'm cheesy, so I'm going to read it to you. Uh, Mr. Rogers would end each of his shows by saying this to the audience every day. You've made this day a special day just by being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way that you are. I feel the same way about all of you. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.